Hey, hi here. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. In this today's session, we'll see how to implement cognitive services in JavaScript. That means how to uh, call cognitive service API using JavaScript and plain HTML. So in the earlier sessions, we have seen the integration part in C Sharp. Now in this session, we'll see like how to integrate same API, that is speech to text, using JavaScript and HTML. Okay, let me get into this and see like how I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to open my Visual Studio folder so that it is um, very easy for me to, you know, uh, write my HTML stuff. And I'm just opening my Visual Studio Coder ID where I'm going to write my HTML here. So let me open. Or I think I'll create here itself, no issue. Um, let me share that. Uh, Cognitive service. Okay. Cognitive service. This is my folder, right? And in this folder, I'm going to uh, create HTML here. So, uh, speech to text demo dot HTML, right? So, here I'm going to write my HTML stuff. Okay. Mm, this thing. Okay. It is default, uh, you know, uh, content on the tag for coming here, like, you know, doc type and uh, HTML tag and head font and all this stuff. I think it's better to copy content here because I'm already having this stuff in my local. So I'm going to copy that or I'll only consider this bit or whatever. Okay, you want it? You can copy that. Um, is that my editor, right? So this is my stuff actually. A and the saving. Microsoft Cloud Enterprise Service Speech to Text SDK. Okay. Yeah. And this is something I'm giving a header, you know, loading speech, recognition speech, SDK. And this is my another title. And this is my, you know, kind of subscription, which I'm going to provide it. So if you are clicking on that, it is going to load it. Otherwise, you can remove that. It's not a problem and it is not required anyway. We'll just remove that. And basically here I'm declaring, uh, no uh, subscription key text box. And you know another button service recognizing recognize or uh, so, sorry service region. So where I'm going to specify my region which have been registered my uh, cognitive service. And uh, another thing was uh, I've been so many languages. Let me look and remove all this stuff. Uh, sort of demo. So this is language source option. That means uh, in which language you are going to speak about. So here I'm just declaring a dropdown here. Right, with all those uh, information. So uh, default, I'm just selecting this German. So I think uh, I can do this for English, right? I do this better. So English, right? And this is the target language option. So uh, what language you wanted to see that speech, right? Uh, let me remove, I think all this nonsense your languages as think later we can add it so for now i'm just converting it to a german right this is going to be selected by default two drop downs have been added one is for source like uh, the speaker along with so what language is going to speak in the target language this is something uh, we'll talk about uh, translation but default right now so we are going to give in speech to text in english only okay to talk about this translation later part. So, and then uh, I have a button called start speaking. So once I click on that, I'm going to do my you no know, uh, business logic execution. And uh, we have another uh, text area where I'm going to, you know, uh, uh, display all the content. So, so far when I uh, spin this, I think open with live server would be great. I'm going to open this uh, thing in browser. 
if you look at here this is something it is coming as loading speech uh right and still it is loading let me see that and keep uh, side by side that we will be having more understanding right so this is the stuff and this is my editor good so yeah now it has starting loading our speech recovery speech sdk now coming here thing is we need to write a logic for this particular button click right start recognize once se button right so to write this logic i think we must have some scripting right so i'm going to copy that scripting as well so here i have already this is what my scripting i'm just copying complete scripting here so going back to my this thing and put this stuff here so if you look at here the stuff i've been getting so we have to give a reference this is the reference of speech sdk reference like uh, you know, aka.ml.csp days browser package raw. You need to give that. So this is the reference only. You need to mention it. And then after that is a normal script, right? So two variables have been declared, and the subscription and service region, language target, and language source. Of course, these are the controls which have been declared above. And I'm just adding an event, you know, uh, content loaded event to the document. In the load event, I'm just getting my um, button object and keeping in this variable, sort recognize once async button, right? And this button having an event click event, instead of click event, I'm just disabling this button true and then emptying the uh, page of inner HTML. Okay, so let me get into here. Where is my browser? If you look at still, it is loading. Yeah, if you look at this here. <clears throat> this is how the URL is coming now, right? My HTML. So I'm basically having this is subscription. Let's do something. Where is that? Speech to text. I think here I should have subscription, right? Subscription T. TV is not closing. Yep, this is my subscription key because uh, this is my subscription text box, region text box, host language, and the target language. And this is my button, and this is my area which I'm going to show uh, the text here. So coming here, uh, the subscription key I uh, mean add value here. This is my subscription key, right? And I just assigning to the subscription key, and this is my service region. I assigning it here, and I'm getting my button object here. And for that button, uh, click event, I'm just making disable of this button. I'm clicking the same button and emptying all this text box, and just coming out. Of. So once I come back, you now come out of this click event. Uh, yeah, I think these are the other options you can uh, see here, like uh, taking this target language and source language and the kind of uh, dev object, all the control objects have been created here. That's all it. And this is the click event of button, right? Once I empty it, and then I'm going to check the subscription value empty or not. If it is empty, I think I must provide it. And then I'm asking and provide this subscription key. If not, right? So I'm going to create the configure object, speech config object with the speech SDK reference. Speech SDK dot speech translation config dot from subscription, right? And I'm passing the subscription value and the region, which is similar to which is similar to a C sharp demo, like what we have demonstrated in the previous session. And then I'm just setting my you know uh, speech object 
recognition language is source. That means uh, in what language is you are going to speak, you are going to have a speak or you are going to talk, right? And I'll declare another variable called a language, which I'm going to assign with the target option. This is the target language. Okay. That means what language uh, you wanted to uh, convert. Okay. And once it is done, I'm just creating the recognized object here. Recognizer object with the translation recognizer so that it will translate. So this uh, basically API uh, converts text as well as translates to a, a given language. I'll, I'll, I'll explain later. So this is the first thing. So for the recognizer object, I'm just passing, you know, button is getting disabled here. I'm just checking the translated speech and then getting language. This is a, a bit of code about the translation part. So if you are not translating it, so what, what you will do is you will just get the translation or the text which you uh, converted, which you got uh, uh, taken from a speech SDK, right? So once the, you get this, I'm just assigning it to this particular to, um, text area and then closing all this stuff. And this is for the error. If something happens in between this process, I'm just going to have a function here, which is going to arise once you have any, uh, an, exception, an exception handling for errors. Then it will make enable and then it is put all the uh, error in the uh, this text box. And here, this is the window.speech SDK. So once you download the DOM object of speech SDK, I'm just checking whether it is downloaded or not with the window.speech SDK. And it is downloaded and assigning it as variable. And again, keeping variable disabled. And you know, uh, this is something content and warning boxes put in the block and then none. This is uh, about the content uh, for warning messages. It is a business logic instead of uh, HTML purely using JavaScript. Okay, so using this, right? Uh, I think the, instead of this thing, um, if we can say recognize speech, only it will give you the recognized speech. Okay, let me try that. And the saving, and the default it was selected as English, and it was English, right? Now I'm going to click on start button and see like how it is. Then start. Hey, hi all. Welcome to our BR Knowledge Center. And in this session, we'll talk about the packet two service, speech to text integration in JavaScript and HTML. Welcome to our, our knowledge center. So much. Right. I think it's not good. Uh, uh, converter. Let me speak in one more time. Hey, how are you? Good. Welcome to BRI Knowledge Center. And in this today's session, we'll see like how to integrate cognitive service speech to text using JavaScript and HTML. Right. Like, I think it is pronounced as P instead of BRI. And in this study session, we'll see like how to integrate cognitive service speech to text using JavaScript, right? So this is something, you know, uh, doing all this stuff and uh, having it. If you wanted to talk more uh, words or sentences, then it will capture everything. Let's try that. Hi, how are you? What are you doing? And today's session is about um, cognitive services integration using JavaScript and HTML. So in the earlier session, we have seen that same integration part in C-Sharp, which actually running in server side. But in this demo, we are purely doing that stuff in client side. So no need of having server side stuff like C-Sharp or Java in code behind stuff. So with that, oh, come on, try. <clears throat> hey, hi all. Uh, welcome to uh, uh, demonstration part. I come up with a different uh, session today, like uh, integration part of cognitive services using HTML and JavaScript. So in earlier sessions, we have uh, used C Sharp, which basically requiring .NET. But in this case, uh, we don't need any uh, technology here. Only it is it's purely JavaScript and HTML. Once you have a reference of this speech to text SDK in your HTML file then it is automatically take care of it. Oh, 
blah, blah, blah. So something. So thing was, it is not 100% so I'm going to tell about it, but you need to revalidate the text again, and then you need to save it something uh, as a document. Okay. So uh, this is something I just wanted to demonstrate, like how to do the same thing using Java and HTML. Uh, so far, it is fine and it is working. I'm very happy with that because uh, I'm a link or a lay person coming outside from outside who actually not aware of a C sharp or Java and that other stuff. I don't I only know about JavaScript and a uh, little bit HTML. Still, I can work on it and can integrate Microsoft Factory services. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of a, uh, you know, uh, uh, wonder for me to do that. Okay. So, I hope you understand how to do that, you know, having this simple HTML and having this SDK. It's good in having it, and I hope you understand how to do that using the speech to text SDK and converting speech to text using JavaScript and HTML. So, thanks for listening to this video, and please subscribe to the channel for more videos.